In today's video for Alpha Universe, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how you can use the Xperia Pro I as an external monitor. Welcome back to Alpha Universe. So I'm here with the Xperia Pro I, and one of the cool features that you could utilize with this device is being able to use it as an external monitor for your Sony Alpha cameras. Now, I'll be demonstrating how to do this with my Xperia Pro I, but the steps are the same if you have other Xperia phones like the Xperia 1 Mark III, the Xperia 1 Mark IV, as well as the Xperia 5 Mark III. The steps are going to vary based on which specific Sony camera you're using. So for the purposes of this video, I'll show you how to set this up using the Alpha 7 Mark IV and the Alpha 1. Let's start off with how we set this up on the phone. To get started, you'll want to go to your phone and enter the settings, then select device connection, connection preference, and scroll down to the external monitor option. You'll want to make sure that this is switched on in order to see the external monitor feature in your app tray. Once you've done this, I recommend adding the icon to your homepage so that you can quickly access this feature whenever you need it. With this completed, let's walk through the steps using the Alpha 7 IV. This is the easiest setup since the camera has the latest USB 3.2 high-speed connection. With that said, all you need to do is connect your Xperia phone to the Alpha 7 Mark IV using a USB-C to USB-C cable. You'll get a pop-up on the camera asking for you to choose from a few different options. You'll want to select the first one to go into live streaming mode. Turn on the external monitor feature on the phone and you're all set. Now let's move on to the Alpha 1. Many of the steps are the same, but there's a few differences that you'll need to keep in mind to make this all work. First, you're going to want to get a full-size HDMI to full-size HDMI cable, along with an HDMI capture card. The one I'm using is a full-size HDMI to USB-C adapter. Connect these together, turn on the external monitor, and again, we're ready to use the Xperia Pro I as our 4K OLED display. Let me know if you have any questions about this setup in the comments section, and I'll do my best to get some answers for you. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on everything that's happening in the Alpha universe. Now, check out the video that you see here on the screen. I'll see you there.